What specialized primary health care would people who experience homelessness benefit from? Yeah, so I think I think the team absolutely we need a team based model. So a model that has nurses and social workers and physicians, like it's all, all of us working together. Um, and I think that the location is really important, as I kind of alluded to. I think the environment needs to be really beautiful, and I think the visits need to be longer, so that we're not just focused on the urgent. Uh, we of course we deal with the urgent and then we say, you know, we look at like the social determinants of health. So the social things that, that are leading to your ill health. So let, let's take a little bit more time and talk about that. Um, I think that would be ideal, a clinic that's focused that way and really focused on prevention. So things like, hey, like when did you last have your tetanus shot or um, I don't know, a pap test or a mammogram or like that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. a more holistic team-based clinic located in an area that's beautiful and is, is accessible, but not associated with homelessness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Place that they would want to go um, mm -hmm. and feel comfortable in, right? Which is yeah. often a big thing that folks don't feel comfortable, so they won't go. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And those trusted, those trusted relationships that are built, you know, that really opens up the opportunity for people to feel comfortable in, in saying, you know, I haven't had a pap test in years and, you know, this is my fear behind that. So it's that human connection relationship that is a hundred percent makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, Nicole, as you're talking, it, it, it you know, so people experiencing homelessness are the same as we are. <laughs> and so sometimes we talk about people experiencing homelessness, we're like, I wonder what they need. And I'm like, well, you know, they need the same things that we do, right? So they like, you Everybody know, do you want to go to that ugly clinic over there where, you know, you, you know, you can't build any relation. No, nobody wants that. So it's, it's really the same thing. And we, I say this, you know, even in, in research, we spend millions of dollars looking at it. And I think at the end of the day, it's like, well, I think everybody wants the same thing in life because we're all the same. It's just that some of us didn't start out with the same equal life chances. Um, anyway, I'll get off my soapbox with that. <laughs> my thing. I'll hold you up all there. <laughs> <laughs>